stand in one of my mod tutorials for um, a better world generation mod but actually now as I'm allowed to do 15 minute mod, uh, 15 minute YouTube videos I'm going to do a spotlight within a mod review, uh, within a mod installation tutorial so uh, the first thing you're going to do is download the better generation better world generation mod then you will get it as a file like this this is just a server jar but it comes in that sort of file then you just open it up with unarchiver or archive utility and you will get your file like this so now you just double click on your home screen and it will go back to the standard finder you just go into go then you press alt it will bring up library just here click on library and go application support minecraft bin and your minecraft.jar will be like this but it will just be minecraft.jar there will be no server jar so it will look like this but it will say server um, minecraft jar and you just open it up in the same way as the mod file and you will get a folder like this so you just add a dot jar on the end and then accept the jar on the end and open it up now the first thing you're going to do when you got into this folder is find your meta inf file now as you can see i've already deleted mine um, because it is the anti-mod file for your minecraft.jar so you just want to get rid of that and take it into your trash so now you just want to open your better world generation mod file select everything inside it's quite a big file and then you just want to copy the 64 items and paste them into there and it will come up with this you just want to click apply to all and then replace and so then you can just close both these files and open up minecraft so now minecraft's open you just log in normally and it will go to the mojang screen and you will have your home screen so now um, you just want to create a new world and you'll just have all the standard world options but you will also have in your more world options you have default super flat and large biomes as normal but then you will also have beta alpha survival island survival skyland sky dimension and cave dimension. So the first one of these extra worlds is the beta world. This is going to take a slightly bit longer to load up but it does load. So now if you look we're in the nice peaceful world of beta, beta minecraft and you have no jungle biomes or anything like that now i'm sorry about the when the distance but let's see if we can put it on a mob so yeah you've just got the caves the mobs and all the standard things that we had in beta so the next world I want to show you, not server, is the um, alpha. So making yourself an alpha world takes a bit longer, just like the beta worlds, and if you turn your smooth lighting off, which I have off already, you get your original looking Minecraft. So you've got your pigs, your cows, your chickens, and your single colour sheep. Then you've got your snow, your desert, your beaches, and your 
general forest kind of areas. So that's just sort of standard beta from two years ago for you people who've still been who are still playing or were playing back then like me. That was two years ago. Long old time ago. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. Okay. So the next world on our list is the survival island. So the survival island world just dumps you on a randomly generated desert island with a single chest with some tools, well with some stuff. And if we dig down, we might be lucky enough to find one of the chests. But if you look, if you dig down far enough, should be one more block, you get stone. And you can pick up all your standard resources. So yeah, that's um, Survival Island. Yeah. So now our next world is Survival Skyland. Now um, I'm just gonna go on to creative for this one because it looks like a normal world, but it's not. So Survival Skyland has your jungles and your cave um, it's got your forests and your caves but then if I can find the edge without it being misloaded chunks you're on a big island just floating in the sky and look at your caves just oh you guys probably can't see um, so you've got your caves and even some dangerous to mine diamonds. So, I don't know why I keep on going on servers. So our next world is Sky Dimension. This was going to be added by Notch to, um, to Minecraft, but um, a long time ago he was thinking this is just like Survival Skyland, but it has your jungles and your deserts and things like that. So instead of waiting for this to load up, we're just going to go on to the next world. So, oh, stop going in multiplayer. Okay. So, now I think we have cave dimension. This is the last one, I think. Yeah. So this is the cave dimension. Forgive me if you can't see. Oh dear. Okay, give me a minute, guys. Um, I shall grab some glowstone. Because, of course, because it's a cave dimension, you just spawn in darkness. So, if you look at the areas that I'm lighting up in a minute, you basically spawn in a dark underground area that yes has your jung uh, your um, sort of crevasses and stuff and it has your trees but it's one never ending cavern now this would be easier to find ores in this kind of world but it is literally just one never ending scary place to be in. So um, that's all from me guys. Uh, 
So if you remember, you've got your uh, beta, alpha, survival island, survival sky island, sky dimension, and cave dimension. So there are the worlds that get added, and um, there will be a link to download this mod in the description. But uh, remember guys, I've showed you how to install all of these up here, and done snapshot um, spotlights for a few of them, and remember there's always my... Um, there's always my let's play ether style and my let's play again because this one kind of went to pot and as you can see there's already 10 episodes well there's nine in there but there's actually 10 and there's also my happy wheels so thanks guys please do like rate like comment and subscribe because they do keep me going um they just give me that extra bit of hope and, um, yeah, cheers, guys.